Hi kiddos, guess where I'm at today? That's right, I'm at an apple orchard. Do you see all the trees with apples in them? Apples grow on trees. Did you know that? Yeah? You're so smart. What color apples do you see? I see red apples, green apples, and yellow apples. Good job. Say, would you like to come pick some apples with me today? Yeah? Awesome, come on, let's get going. Let's start with the red apples. I'm gonna need four red apples. Can you help me count them as they fall from the tree into the basket? Awesome, all right, here they go. There's one apple. There's two apples. There's three apples. That's four apples. Great job. Let's move on to the next tree. All right, let's get the green apples now. I'm gonna need three green apples. Let's go ahead and count them as they fall into the basket again. Ready? That's one. That's two. And that's the last one, that's three. Great job, thank you for helping me count these apples. You're awesome and you're doing great. Let's go on to the next tree, come on. All right, we're at our last tree, the yellow apples. I'm gonna need three yellow apples. Let's go ahead and count them as they fall into the basket again. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Great job. You are a great apple counter. <laughs> so come on, let's go check them out and let's do some basic math with the apples. I'll show you how. Come on, let's go. If I have one red apple and one green apple, one red apple plus one green apple is two apples. There's a red apple and a green apple. That makes two. Good job. Let's try another one. So, if I had one red apple, one green apple, and one yellow apple, one red apple plus one green apple plus one yellow apple equals three apples. There's a red, green, and yellow apple. Great job. Let's try another one. If I had two red apples and one green apple, two plus one equals three. Two red apples and one green apple makes three apples. Good job. Let's try another one. If I had two red apples and two yellow apples, two plus two equals four. Four apples. There's two red apples and two yellow apples. That makes four. Great job. Thank you guys so much for counting the apples with me. You did great. Oh my gosh, now you know how to do math. I'm so proud of you. But guess what? Next, we're gonna go start a garden. Come on, there's no time to waste. There's so much to do when we plant a garden. Before we start our garden, there's some things that we should know. Like, what do plants need to grow? Hmm. Do you know what plants need to grow? You do? I knew you'd be a big help in this. <laughs> so the first thing plants need to grow is sunshine. Plants need a lot of sunshine to grow. What else do they need? That's right, they need some water. Everybody gets thirsty, including me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dig our holes and put the seeds inside and water them and we have started a garden. Are you ready to help me with the garden? Awesome. 
awesome! Let's go! Oops, silly me. We almost forgot. We need to pick a place to plant the seeds. I think this spot would be really good to plant them. What do you think? Yeah? I think it'll be a good spot because it looks like it's going to get a lot of sunshine. I think that we can go ahead and start now. Let's dig the first hole. There's number one. Let's dig the second hole. There's number two. Let's dig the third hole. There's number three. Great job. Now we gotta put the seeds in. There's the first seed. There's the second seed. There's the third seed. Great job. Now we have to cover the hole back up with dirt. There's number one. There's number two. And there's number three. Great job. Now let's water them. There's number one. And there's number two. And there's number three. Great job watering them. Oh, we can't forget to put up the sign. Gotta label it. Great job planting the seeds and watering them. You did great. Thumbs up to you. Good job. Can you do a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good job. <laughs> Now we just have to wait for them to grow. So let's go ahead and go to sleep and wake up and come check on our garden again. I'll see you tomorrow. That's right. I think we should probably give them a little bit more time too. We should probably water them today too. So let's go ahead and water them and wait for the next day. There's number one. Let's water number two. Good job. Now let's water number three. Great job watering the plants. Hopefully we'll see some grow soon. I'll see you later, okay? We'll check on them tomorrow. Bye. Now it's been two days. Let's check to see if anything grew. Oh, they still didn't grow. Do you think they need more time? Me too. But let's go ahead and water them again and wait for the next day. And hopefully we'll see something grow. Let's give the first one some water. There we go. Let's give the second one some water. Perfect. Let's give the third one some water. All right, we watered the seeds again. I'll see you guys in the morning tomorrow. We can check up on our plants again. It's the next day, 
It's been three whole days. Let's see if anything grew. <gasps> they grew. Look at them. They're so small. We should measure them to see how small they are. Come on, I'll show you how. To measure something, you need to start at the very bottom. And then you have to read the tick marks up until the top. One, two, three. Three inches. That's the symbol for inches. Great job. This plant is three inches tall. Now that we've measured them, let's go ahead and give them some water and see how much more they'll grow the next day. Come on, it's gonna be so exciting. Let's give the first plant some water. There we go. Let's give the second plant some water. Awesome. Now let's give the last one some water. All right, we've watered all our plants. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I can't wait to see how much they grow. Let's check out them, see how much they grew. Wow, they grew so much. They're getting bigger. Let's measure them and see how much bigger they are. Remember, when we measure something, we need to start from the bottom and measure to the top. Let's count the tick marks between. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six inches. This plant is six inches tall. Great job measuring, you're doing great. Now that we measured them, let's give them some water. I bet they're gonna get super big tomorrow. Come on, let's go. Let's give plant number one some water. Good job. Now let's give plant number two some water. Awesome. Now let's give plant number three some water. Good work. We've watered our plants. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I can't wait to see how much they grow. It's the next day. Let's check on our plants and see how they did. Wow, they've gotten so tall. Let's go ahead and measure them and see how tall they are. Remember, when we measure things, we need to start from the bottom and count the tick marks between the top and the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This plant is ten inches tall. Great job! You're doing fantastic! Now that we've measured them, let's go ahead and give them some more water and see how they grow. Let's water plant number one again. Good job! Let's water plant number two now. Great work. Let's water the last plant, plant number three. Good job. We watered all our plants. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow there'll be corn on them and we can pick them. Wow, look at that! There's corn now! 
Wow, let's go ahead and pick some. Can you help me count the corn as it goes into the basket? You will? Great! Okay, let's count them. The first plant has two. Two ears of corn. The second plant has three. Three ears of corn. Great job. You are a great counter. The third plant has just one. <laughs> one ear of corn. That was so much fun. I had a great time. Let's see how many pieces of corn we picked. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six ears of corn. Great job counting the corn. I had so much fun with you guys today. Come back and see me again, okay? Bye!